Okay, the last video for this uh, week will have to do with uh, infix, prefix, and postfix. And these are talking about expressions. Uh, we're going to be using stacks uh, for our solution. So this is a really good example. And there's going to be an assignment uh, requiring you to work with, uh, in, with postfix and evaluation. So infix, when you write a normal mathematical expression or an expression like we've been doing in Python, is written in a type of mathematical notation called infix. And you're so used to using it, you don't know a name for it uh, until you know there's some other ways of writing expressions. Uh, so infix is, uh, for example, if you say c times d, the operator is in between the two operands c and d. So uh, the value c and d are multiplied by the operator indicates what to do. Uh, so you know the form where you multiply a value by c and d, so this is what you normally know from math. And in most ma all mathematicians use this. Uh, this is a type of notation known as infix, since the operator multiply is in between, or in between, so that's why it's called infix, the two operands c and d. Uh, here's a little more complex one. So when you have an expression like this, you know that the multiply is a higher priority. Uh, and this, so this is a little more complicated. Uh, so do you do the b plus c first or the c times d? And you know you do the c times d first because you've learned that this is a higher priority. Um, the only exception to the order of precedence that you've learned is the when you use parentheses. When you add parentheses, it forces the priority to be higher than multiply or divide or anything else. If you add a pair of parentheses around every operation in the way to indicate the order needed, uh, for example, if you, if you change this to this, uh, there's a name for this. Um, it's called fully parenthesized. So if you have two operators, you're going to have two pairs of parentheses. Um, when you do this, you don't need any precedence rules. So if you actually use all these parentheses, you don't need any precedence rules. Um, uh, this use of one pair per operator, if you have four operators, you would have four pairs of parentheses and so on. Because there's always one pair of parentheses around every um, um, around every operator. Now there's another type of uh, um, thing you can do. It's called prefix expressions. So prefix uh, expressions, we're going to look at two ways of writing expressions differently. And the first one is called prefix. It's also known as Polish notation. It was invented by a great Polish logician. Uh, this is the guy right here. And to, I, to write operators in this form, instead of writing it like a plus b, you write the operator first and then the two operands. So you say plus a, b. It's called prefix because the operator is before the operands. So if you're adding uh, 1 and 2, you'd say plus 1, 2. So that's prefix notation. And it's also called reverse Polish notation, or Polish notation. Reverse Polish notation is the opposite. It's called postfix, and that's where you put the operator last. So your infix expression a plus b becomes a, b, and then plus. This is called postfix. It's also called reverse Polish notation, or just RPN notation. We're going to be using this one. Uh, RPN happens to be very useful for computers. Uh, and we'll see that it, when you evaluate an RPN expression, you never need uh, parentheses. And uh, you always work from left to right. Uh, so it's really easy to evaluate on a computer. And you use a stack. So we'll see that at the end of the show. So here's all three. Here's infix, which you're used to. Here's prefix and postfix. So if you have a plus b, uh, you write prefix this way and you write postfix this way. Uh, here's a plus b times c. So you in prefix, you write the plus and then the two operands a. But you, since you see a multiply here, it's going to multiply b and c and then use that as an operand uh, to go along with the a to do the plus. So in prefix, we're going to actually work backwards. Uh, you work backwards 
to do the lower, the uh, higher priority things, and you work toward the lower priority on the left. So for a more complex expression, uh, a times b minus c divided by d, uh, you do the c, d, and the, the divide first. Then you do the b, a, and you do the multiply. And then last, you do the subtract, which will do the uh, results of those two other operations. So I'm working backwards here. In postfix, you work forward. So uh, a plus b, you do the two operands, and then you do the plus. Uh, if you're uh, doing this more complex expression, you uh, uh, you work forward. So you do a, b, and then you have uh, C and then star, so the star picks up the B and C, the two preceding operands, and it multiplies them and gets the result, and now you have A followed by that result and a plus, and then it does the plus. So it works from left to right. When it sees an operand, it takes the two previous results. Um, here's a more complex one. So in this case, it does the A, B multiply, and then it does the C, D, and does the divide. And this multiply uh, makes a result, and the divide makes a result. So there's two results prior to the minus, and so that's what it subtracts the two. Uh, now, when we actually write a program to evaluate these, we're actually going to push the values onto a stack as we see operands or operators. And we'll show you how that works. Uh, here's a lot more examples you can look at. Now we're going to point out one more thing here. Uh, when you do these changes from infix to prefix to postfix, the order of the operands always stay the same. So they're, they don't change order. A, B, C, D is, is the same in all of these. The only thing we've moved is where the operators are when we change things from infix to prefix to postfix. So let's look at an algorithm. If we wanted to convert infix to postfix, what we we would need to do. Um, so first, we're going to look at is if you fully parenthesize an expression, um, how would you do it? And so every pair of parentheses denotes two operands with an operator in the middle. So first, you would find the innermost parentheses. Here's the operand in the middle, and all we have to do is move this operator to here. So first, let's look at the overall expression. So the outer parentheses, the two operands are this operand and the result of what's inside these parentheses. So these are the two operands for the plus. And the previous, these are the two operands for the multiply. So now to convert things, we start here and we move the asterisk after the C. So it'll be B, C, asterisk. There we go. And then we're going to do the same here. So now we have an operand, which is this parentheses, and another operand. And we want to move this plus over here so it's after those. So we do that. So the plus has been moved over there. Uh, then we re it turns out after we've done that, we don't need any of the parentheses. So we're going to remove them all. And then we just take out the extra spaces, and we end up with the, uh, with the postfix expression, or the postfix expression from the original infix. So if you're watching this, you might want to do these slideshows over and over again. I'll make the slides available. Uh, so this shows to do prefix by just moving the operator to the left. Otherwise, you do the same to the right. So if you start with this, you fully parenthesize it. If you want to do prefix, you move the multiplies to the left of the two operators. And if you do postfix, you do what we just showed an example of. You move the operators to the right of the two operators. Uh, so you can basically do the same thing. Now the algorithm we're going to show you, you don't fully parenthesize. We're actually going to pay attention to the priority uh, of the operators and to f figure out what order to do things.